Hello, I'm Pablo de Menditti. I'm the Dean for Research at Princeton University and Vice Chair of the ASHG Foundation. I'm here with Michael Graham, a Villa's Distinguished Achievement Professor, and uh, Harvey Spangler, Professor of Chemical and Biological Engineering at the University of Wisconsin Madison. Michael will be given the inaugural William R. Showalter Lecture later today. Uh, this lecture honors the distinguished career of William Showalter, whose accomplishments include seminal research in fluid mechanics, visionary academic leadership as chair of Princeton's chemical engineering department and dean of engineering at uh, the University of Illinois at Urbana, and high-level ambassador for higher education as advisor to three presidents at the universities of National University of Singapore and King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in uh, Saudi Arabia. So, uh, Mike, as the inaugural Showalter Lecture, perhaps you could start by telling us something about the research that you'll be presenting today. Okay. So, I, uh, my group has broad interests in uh, fluid mechanics and rheology and complex fluids. Um, the topics I chose today for today's talk are based on things that I think Bill will be interested in. So he um, made great contributions to multiphase and non-Newtonian flows um, and actually wrote a book on non-Newtonian fluid mechanics that I'll refer to a couple times in the, in the uh, um, seminar. And so the two topics, one on multiphase flows, the first on multiphase flows, that's on uh, blood flow. So we're interested in how the different uh, components of blood, the white cells, the red cells, the platelets, are distributed in, um, in the circulation and how that uh, distribution has consequences um, physiologically. So we've developed some theory and some simulations that uh, and we'll talk about that. And then um, I have a great collaborator um, who's a hematologist and so we've made some connections with some things going on in, in um, drug effects on cell distribution and then also on sickle cell disease. So that's the first topic. The second is on uh, non-Newtonian fluid mechanics, actually a problem that, that Bill has worked on, and that's the fact that if you add small amounts of long chain polymers to a uh, fluid, you can dramatically reduce the, the energy losses in the, in the turbulent flow regime. So this is a problem that people have known about, a phenomenon that people have known about for a long time. It's widely used, uh, but, but not very well understood. And so I'm going to talk about some of our recent efforts to connect um, this phenomenon with kind of the fundamental building blocks of turbulent flows. So that's the, um, and, and, and how, those are in, how those interact with polymer dynamics. That sounds very exciting. I'm really looking forward to the lecture. So I wonder if you could share with us what's the significance for you personally and professionally of giving this lecture. Sure. So um, first of all, I think it's fantastic that AICHE has chosen to honor um, such a multifaceted uh, leader as, as Bill in this, in this way. Um, and and uh, I think it's great that this lectureship has this dual focus, which, is, which reflects um, Bill's kind of dual career as a scholar and as an academic leader. So I think it's just fantastic to have the opportunity to be part of that series. Um, also, um, Bill's a Wisconsin grad, and I think it's just fantastic to have the opportunity as a Wisconsin faculty member to give the talk in honor of someone who was a graduate from our institution. And then finally, um, it'll just, uh, um, I look forward to the opportunity to share some of the things that I've been very interested in for, for many, many years with the broader community, and I hope people find the, the work interesting. Wonderful. Mike, I'd like to thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with the ASCHE community. Thank you very much. My pleasure.